Like I said, am I doing it here? I, I'm, just, I'm just gonna freestyle. I don't know if you've got some kind of things I need to say. Like, subscribe, ring the bell. No, it's just turn your post notifications. Welcome to the Cars Computer Buoy, and then what we're doing today. Alright. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Cars, Computers, and Buoy. No Buoy today, but I am Andy. I'm Alex's brother. We are about to replace the brakes on my 2005 Toyota Corolla. It's gonna be big time. Might take a while. Might not take a while. We're gonna see how it happens, okay? You guys ready? Let's go change the brakes. <laughs> Alright, so the key with doing brakes is you want to do one side of the car first. So do both the front brakes, that way when you're doing, when you're pulling parts off, if you kind of forget or you don't know where to put things back, you can always reference the other side. Oh, you got a hill on? I've had this thing for a while. It's a lot of things we have to do. is you never want to go under the car. Probably from over here since this is what people will see. <laughs> so what you want to do is find something solid, usually a bolt or something on the subframe that puts your jack stand. That way it's something solid and it won't uh, fall on you. Lift on this. Ridiculously chewed up. Remember that all that plastic stuff that like came off? Oh yeah, I've Basically. just brought to you by yeah, this, Naval Aviation. This cars, computers, and buoys support the US. So you can tell if you look at the brake pad here, you see Which how is this thing. Okay. See how there's a lip there and then underneath there's the part that actually contacts the rotor? Yeah. And it's a really thin. Yeah. Like a new pad would be about that thick. Oh wow. So you're right near the edge of it. These these weren't like dangerously low, but they were low enough where they needed to be changed. And also the rotor, if you take your finger and go, you can feel a ridge that's raised above the rest of the rotor. Oh yeah. So that means that they need to be replaced as well. With your uh, Toyota car, there's actually little things where if you screw these into the drum, it'll pop it off. But if it doesn't come off, or if you don't have those, you can use the uh, dead blow hammer to bash it off. Basically. Oh, what? Dead blow hammer? Mm-hmm. What is this piece of? Used to pop these off. Oh wait, get I want to pop off. We're gonna install these Powerade branded brakes. Oh, there it is. Holy cow. That's just into place. There we go. Like that. That's not as that phone uses the wire. I think that's it. There we there go. We go. You really need to do drum brakes. Because this was all the way down to metal. See how it's got like some material there and then there's just straight metal? Uh -huh. So metal on metal, so yeah, this was trashed and this was trashed. So it's like a good I said, thing we were, replaced those. Like I said, they've been squealing. Andy, how does it yeah. feel to know that if you had taken this to North Carolina without Alex seeing it, you would have died? I don't know what else. I don't know what would have been a better scenario at this point. <laughs> I'm not thinking about it, but <laughs> Alex saved your life. Jesus. It's okay. I brought shop towels. Yeah, well, my shoes don't. <laughs> 